Kid hey guys, and today I'm going to do my tips for round eight of the season. Let's see how I went last week. I think I got seven out of nine potentially. It was a, it was a good round, so I got that one right. Got Melbourne, got the Giants, I think. Yep, I did. Brisbane, tipped them. I tipped Richmond, which went down here. Uh, West Coast, I got right. Carlton and North, I got correct. And Geelong and Essen, I got wrong. And so, yeah, I think that leaves me with seven. Not too bad. I'll take it on board anyway. So we got Sydney Essendon at the SCG on the Friday night starting us off. And uh, look, I have to go to the Bombers here. I'm, I'm pretty bullish on them. They, they went down, obviously, to the Cats last week. Um, yeah, I was at the game and got the review up if you're interested to have a look from a Cats perspective. But yeah, I feel like Essendon's running carry games really strong. Um, and I think Sydney couldn't be in any worse form. I just don't feel like they have the... The names to really get the job done. Um, yeah, they're, they're in an interesting stage of transition, and I think yeah, Essendon will probably win by two to three goals. I think Sydney will certainly give them a real fight. They normally do. Uh, the Dogs and the Lions at Mars Stadium. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to be Eddie Had. There you go. Marvel. I keep calling it um, Eddie Had because that's what I reckon it should be. But uh, <laughs> all right, we've got the Dogs. This one's a genuine 50-50. was that Eddie had, I'd be tipping the lines. Um, yeah, and once again, I've called it Eddie had. But I'd probably... Yeah, I might lean towards the dogs without any real confidence on this one. It's sort of a... Maybe the odds have swayed me here. Um, no, I'll go Brisbane. I'll go Brisbane by by three goals. I think they're just in slightly better touch than the Nick at the moment. They're a little bit more reliable, but they're sort of in that similar range with the lines. Probably just being a bit better than them in general. Carlton have Collingwood at the MCG, and the Blues were absolutely deplorable last week um, against North Melbourne. Collingwood, again, a really impressive performance over Port Adelaide, and a big win there. They'll be really wrapped with that. I'm going to go the Pies here, probably seven goals. Uh, they're a real class, classy side, um, plenty of names that just uh, roll off the tongue. And they're very hard to stop when they they get their running game going. And I don't think Carlton are quite up to it. They'll, they'll give them a show for a fair chunk, but I expect the Pies to be too good. Uh, the Blues, not sure where they are at at the moment, but we'll find out uh, more this weekend. No doubt of that. Gold Coast have Melbourne and Metricon Stadium. Again, this is another flip of the coin. Uh, I'm going to... Well, I don't really want to tip Gold Coast because when I tip them, they lose, and when I don't tip them, they seem to win, so... Yeah, and I'm not really confident on either side at the minute, but I'm going to go Melbourne by goal. I think, yeah, that, yeah, just, they, they need to get back on track. Uh, maybe Gold Coast have ran out of legs slightly, so see how we go there, but could go either way that game. Um, yeah, Doll 34 is very short odds. St Kilda have West Coast at Marvel Stadium, and this one's, again, another game that could really go either way. And I'm going to go the Saints in this one, uh, by kick as well. I think West Coast haven't been that great. The Saints, I feel like they've been competitive when they've played over there. In recent times, they got the Chocolates in 2017. And, they've, yeah, I feel like their pressure when they play their best, they, they can beat the Eagles. And at home, makes it easy for them. West Coast, how they go away, they're in horrible touch at the moment. So I'm going to go the Saints in that one. Adelaide over. We've got Port Adelaide and Adelaide. I'm going to go Port Adelaide in this game. Again, I'm going against the odds. I feel like they'll be absolutely ruining after last week. Um, plenty to improve on. Adelaide, they, they got away from Freo late. Um, I, I, I'm guessing Freo's a pretty good side. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think they're in great touch at the minute. They're getting over the line. Port Adelaide again. The, not a great game against the Pies, but they'll respond. And I think they'll get the win just. I'm going to go two kicks in this one. North Melbourne, Geelong at Eddie Had. <laughs> I'm just going to keep calling Eddie Had, guys. <laughs> I'm never going to get it. Telstra Dome, we got uh, North Melbourne and Geelong. Uh, I expect the Cats to win three to four goals. I expect North to provide a challenge. They've given us some dramas in the past, as you can see here. Uh, there's times where they, they can be a little bit of a handful and they got us in 2015 when we were no good and they got us in 2015 again when we are no good. So they've won three of the last five by the looks. 
been close in three of the last five. And one, two of the last five. So, Geelong hopes to win. Ablett's out. Obviously, Dangerfield may go out as well. Not sure on that, but we will wait and see. Hawthorne have the Giants at the MCG. And I expect uh, GWS to get the chocolates here. I'm going to go five goals. Hawthorne, they've been yeah, sort of middle of the road, as Clarko sort of described. And Giants are hitting their straps very nicely. Um, looking in pretty good nick. Jeremy Cameron's kicking goals from everywhere. And he's kicked 30 for the season. He's looking really impressive. So expect the Giants to um, be too classy, too strong, too good for the Hawks. Even away from their home. Because they have been Geelong at home. Freo have, in the final game of the round, they've got the Tigers and Adopter Stadium. So that'll be, this will be, um, yeah, quite a game and quite a contest. I expect uh, Freo to win. I'm going to go Freo by four goals. Uh, Richmond, they were pretty disappointing against the Dogs. And Freo, they didn't lose too many fans, although they didn't uh, get too many too much scoring on the board. But I feel like they've been tough to beat at home. They've been tough to beat this year as a general. Uh, yeah, Rance out will hurt with um, Hogan and Lobb and Tabena taking marks. So that, there'll be a bit to think about then. Um, no sweat at all. So I hope you enjoyed the tips, guys. Chuck yours down in the comments below. It'll be awesome. And don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe away. All that good stuff. Click the bell if you want to not be notified when a new video comes out. So thanks for hanging around, guys. I'll see you on the next video.